Hey guys, how you going? So uh, today I'm at my cousin's place and we will be uh, changing out the transmission mount because that needs to be done. It's pretty old and worn. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the mount. Got it out of the car now, so. So the mount's here. Uh, pretty straightforward. Two bolts either side for the trans two to the cross member and and that's it there so we'll go under the car and have another look under the car there are four bolts either side on the cross member same over there and then uh four bolts on the trans mount and that'll come off so it's pretty straightforward support the uh gearbox you might need to pull this down anyway to get the support in here on the back of the transfer, yep. I'm thinking. So, um, yeah, probably take off the uh, splash plate as well on that one. Uh, support it here, and then, yeah, just unbolt it all. Should be pretty straightforward. Easy, no worries. And, uh, yeah, we'll get to it and give it a shot. Yeah. Next, I would do the two under here. What size are they? I reckon they're 14s. 14? I'll bring a 14. It's right back there. Somewhere. I reckon that's it. That's my guess. 14 or a 17. I probably need a deep socket, eh? Yeah. Maybe. I'll have to get a deep one in the car. Deep one? Yeah. Go deep. It was deep. <laughs> <laughs> gearbox with your jack under there yep. and we just whip them off and that should drop that cross member then we just have to undo those actually quite quick they make these things to be rebuilt that's for sure yeah. so next stage will be to undo these eight because there's another two on the other side after we've supported the transmission in transfer case I need a good jack like that. That way, forward towards the car more. Up one more pump. Yep, now she's off. Weight's off the trans. Off the off the cross member. We should drop that cross member now. Your turn. Grab your one. Easy. All right, so that's down and off. Supporting it here. Just gonna take that off now, so I reckon that's 17. Often we'll just compare them on the bench, yep. see how bad they are. So it's the only mount I haven't done. Mm, 
coming apart easy. It's not the Nightmare 90. It was the Nightmare 90 series, mate. Hmm. But, uh, you want me to do it? Yeah. I'll grab this. So I can do it one handed, can I? Yep. I have so much dirt in my eyes. Hey? I have so much dirt in my eyes. Done. All right. Let's go compare it on the bench. Just splitting or delaminating. Yeah, started to just up here. Starting to delaminate around the back, see? Starting to come apart. Oh, yeah. So, this one looks well, it's made way better anyway. Nice, nice, Dazzy. All right. Yep, no hat, love the hair. All right, we will uh, chuck that in and um, chuck it all back together. I think it's the same, man, don't matter what way you put it. I don't think it's a, the bolt's different on the bottom. No, nope, they're in the middle. Yep. yep. I'd rather get this wrong. If you do, there'll be a problem. Just take it off again, I guess. Sides up. Yeah, that's good. All right, so you just wind your bolts in. Just back one when it wants to. You got another one there? You done both yours? I've done both, yeah. Let's wind them in by, by hand. Yours tight, bit tight, are they? I know. Lift them up. That one is. Yeah. <laughs> These two went in smooth over here. That's not the right one. Or is it? I oh, know it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we want to just... Just send it. Send it, Stephen? Yeah. So, yep, we're going them up. Your turn. How many ugga duggers you reckon? A couple more for good luck. A couple on. more? No, I don't think I wouldn't. <laughs> it's not going to go any further anyway. That's good luck. That's actually, um. A couple more. That's actually a pretty good torque on this. You can set your torque on it, can you? No. It's fucking tight. Yep. I'm happy with that. That ain't coming off. Alright. Grab the cross member. Actually, I've got an idea before you do that. Because that's pretty well, it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. <sighs> dramas, people, dramas. What if... I'm going to come down a bit. If I push this trolley jack over a bit. Ready? Yep. Yep. That work? Try some more. Yeah. You're kind of hard up against it. Did, you? Did that move it? I can always, I can always kick it with my foot. Want to try that? Got it started? All right, cool. Whew. Singing that mount was wrong for a minute. I oh, don't. No. All right. Bit of persuasion. Guess we can rattle down the, rattle down up the outsides, do their mast. Yep. What are these again? 14 or? Yeah, I reckon. Yep, they're 14. You got the 14 there? 12. 17. I got it. Nope. 
you're hiding, hiding it. See how much I love air tools? Mm. Makes stuff so much easier. All right, we are done. You can drop this. You can drop, uh, drop that, and then we can put the uh, this mesh plate on. I might actually give that, hit that a bit more here. Get rid of that oil so I can get to it. Get you to pull that out. Your side. Give it a rag. Come on, it's not a bad. You're not that old, mate. Yeah, I am. You're not even 90 year old. <laughs> yep. All right. Watch a teapot. Teapot? Yep. What's a teapot? And done. As easy as that, guys. All right, guys. Finally, after a few battles and uh, the trans not lining up because it shifted when we jacked it up. Um, all good. All done. Hopefully that helps you if you want to change your trans mount. Just keep in mind that moving your um, transmission back to the correct spot will allow you to line up your cross member. Have a good one. I'll catch you next time.